So hello, welcome. I'm Michelle Ruiz from uh, JFrog. I'm a developer advocate, and we are at JFocus. And I'm very, very happy to be here with Martin. Martin, please introduce yourself. Yeah, hi. My name is Martin Furch. Um, yeah, I've studied computer sciences, and I'm working for TNG Technology Consulting, which is a consulting company based in Munich in Germany. Munich. Okay. And we are growing, so we also have other offices. For example, in Australia or in Hungary, Budapest, oh. and so on. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's really so nice. So you are basically in Europe and in. Yeah, right. Basically in, in Germany, but uh, still growing, and uh, yeah, it's nice to be there. This is my bread and butter job. It's doing IT consulting, high mm -hmm. and IT consulting. And, uh, but we have an innovation hacking team at TNG. Yes, yeah. I wanted to ask that because yeah. here at J Focus you have a session about deep fakes. Right. And real time deep fakes. Real time deep fakes. And it was super successful. I heard that very good feedback about it mm, and cool. it was very well attended. So I'm totally looking forward to that recording whenever they publish mm -hmm. it. But I also learned about a different project that you're working on. Yes. AI slides. AI slides, right. So, so AI minus slides.com product <laughs> placement um, uh, is a website we just uh, published where we made um, uh, artificial generated presentations available to the public. So um, the only thing you have to do here is to define a topic mm -hmm. and everything else will it's be done created. automatically. Within three to five minutes, you will have a complete presentation with everything. Okay. Also with text-to-speech, it just, yeah, reads loud everything. everything. Yeah. And it generates the complete content, uh -huh. like subtitles, subheadlines, and, yeah, some kind of essays for the subheadlines. And it's generating the images as well, based on Dolly or... Uh -huh. Stable diffusion. Oh, okay. So, wow. Yeah. That, that's a lot of, of things that it can yeah. do. Yeah. So, we only need a topic? We just need a topic. Okay. And uh, currently, it's not um, available for the public to um, yeah, create their own slide set because uh, this would take uh, much computing power and, of uh -huh. course, a lot of money because in the background, we are uh, using GPT-3. Oh, okay. And for this, uh, we uh, need yeah, an internet connection to OpenAI, and we have to use the, uh, the API yeah, to generate all the stuff. Yes. And of course, this uh, costs money, and if millions of people just try uh, to no. generate uh, their own content, you can imagine uh, what happens then. Uh, the same happened with Jet BCG. Uh -huh. I think these are two uh, Harvard students. Mm -hmm. They publish this stuff, and it's all the time overloaded. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I have but you can suggest a topic if you like. Okay. Yeah. Fine. So um, also on ai-slides.com and from time to time we will pick the best and then we create the, the, slide. the, the slide set for that. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Perfect. Yeah. It sounds fantastic. So let's, let's pick a topic. What let's pick a think? topic. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, we can have a look uh, to already um, created yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's, uh, let's uh, a slide set so that we just have an idea what uh, a nice topic could be, for example, here we have uh, bubbles, bubble gum is stronger than you think, reasons why pigs fly better, so these are obviously some uh, funny topics. Here this is a very good one, the art of farting loudly, yeah. <laughs> and day drinking in Finland, a primer. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and if you don't have a good idea, of uh -huh. course, uh, you can ask the AI um, to you create a suggestion. A suggestion. Okay. So we can do that. Uh, of course. Yeah, let's, let's try it. Use a, su a suggestion. And let's then uh, it's here. Opening a door in three easy steps. Okay. okay. Uh, that's three. Good. <laughs> <laughs> create a bet and win startup. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, so let's um, define our own topic. Um, um, the best reasons why to speak at conferences. Okay, reasons to speak. Why to speak at conferences? Conferences. Yeah, let's see. Do you think it's a good topic? I have a good idea. 
reasons why to speak at um, conferences for Java developers? So no. On, nee, on soci at social conferences as a computer scientist. Uh. <laughs> I don't know, we can try that. And three slides. Three slides, perfect. That's okay, generate topic. <laughs> so this takes a few minutes because we are... Um, what is what it's doing now? Um. Yeah, anyway, we just let it go. Um, Time travel in Chihuahua. Yeah, I, I don't a know tale. why this. Uh, okay. Well, we, uh, that sounds also very interesting. Ah, I see. I, I pressed the wrong button. It's create presentation. So, okay. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, you know. <laughs> no, and then interfaces and usability. Yes, yes. we could have totally yeah. talked about yeah, it's that. It's created by computer scientists, you know. Yes, the button. Could right. have been <laughs> in another place. Like yeah. I know that we don't have to yeah. go into it. It yeah. has to work. It doesn't have to look beautiful. And some other people will tell you it has to look beautiful and be usable yeah. and also work. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. We I it's working now. Yeah. So tell me, tell me what is behind it. What's happening right now is um, we have um, the topic. Mm -hmm. uh, we sent this string, this topic to um, OpenAI GPT-3. Okay. And then we use a prompt, mm -hmm. which is something like um, create a bullet point list of subtitles to the topic why uh, computer scientists should go to social conferences, whatever. Then we receive a list of such subheadlines. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then we take the subheadline and ask GPT-3 again, create for this subheadline an essay, let's say, of one or two paragraphs, and then it generates the text automatically. Okay, so it's for not the all yeah. Furthermore, oh. we ask to extract the keywords of the subheadline, uh -huh. and we put that into a text-to-image. Okay. So this is the stable diffu diffusion stuff, and with these keywords, we create an image for the slide, and we are doing this for all slides, and then we are done. So it's connecting a bunch of technologies yes. of deep neural networks and everything. So okay. now the presentation is and ready to go. And it's really look good. The first slide, it's a microphone. Yeah. And it's artificially generated. So yes. it looks like this. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's And uh, now we can press start. Yeah, And it, would, uh, uh, it will try to um, read out loud. So let's have a look. Good day to you. I am the TNG Technology Consulting PowerPoint Karaoke Generator. But you can call me Joanna. Sure. Today we're going to talk about the important topic, reasons why to speak at social conferences as a computer scientist. Speaking at social conferences is a great way for computer scientists to gain professional networking opportunities. It provides an opportunity to meet and interact with other professionals in the field, allowing you to build relationships that may lead to future collaborations. Additionally, speaking at conferences allows you to showcase your skills and knowledge in front of potential employers or partners. Yep. So this is how it works. And uh, the funny thing about that is um, also what it's uh, generating, what it's saying. It's really good. Learn from others. In the field, blah, blah, blah. and and you can see the pictures, like yeah. even even the effects, and it has animations. So the text to speech, the oh my god, yeah. this is. So there is no need uh, to uh, write your presentation in the airplane anymore or in the train. So uh, you just can use AISlides.com. Just wow. The conference takes place. Yes. And you're ready to go. Oh my god. <laughs> Just kidding. No, 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 but uh, yes. We wouldn't do that. <laughs> no, because we never do our s <laughs> slides before the event. Never, ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, but uh, I mean, it is incredible. And, and there is a thank you slide. So, And I said animations. Yes, I said animations. And, and the colors are really good. So, yeah. oh my God. So this is, this is amazing. Yeah. This is amazing. Uh, I mean, in, in the whole way of you created the different steps, mm -hmm. 
like the feedback loops between how to create, extract the, the yeah. process. I mean, this, the process seems very, very simple. And actually, it is very simple because you're all lev leveraging uh, functionality that is out there already. Right. So, okay. So, in fact, it's connecting all those different AI stuff which is just around us. And uh, in another uh, version of the AI slides, we also integrated our real-time deepfakes. Uh -huh. So then you can see Jonas or Thomas or me as a speaker. And also the lip sync is included. So uh, the stuff which takes place here, text-to-speech, you can see the deepfake speaker with a very good lip sync as well. So I... I mean, I, I have already uh, seen some articles and, and documentaries about, like, for example, using this technology for doubling movies, like when it's the same actors but different different language, and they don't want to retake the entire movie in a different language. So I, I mean, the potential of all this technology is it's incredible. So. What is what are your thoughts? Because we are going to get super excited. So what do you see? Like, oh my god, words of caution or let's go full steam. What 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 is your Yeah, it's a question which is uh, asked very often. So as I already told you, our bread and butter shop is high uh, high end IT consulting at mm -hmm. PNG uh, for our customers. We are doing this kind of stuff to gain skills in the fields of AI, which is very important. Uh, uh, yeah, nowadays, very, very important. And uh, it will become uh, important for our customers as well. So what we do is we gain the skills so that we can offer these AI skills to the customers. Mm -hmm. There will be the time where they will find the need for that because it makes much life much easier sometimes. Just think of, uh, I don't know, um, you have your internal uh, documentation system like a Confluence or something like that, yeah? And uh, what about thinking about a chat GPT for your internal Confluence? Yes! You just ask it the question, how many uh, holidays do I have in this company? Yes! And it just uh, tells you, yeah, you... More conversational, you know I mean? yes! It's not digging through tons of documents and... Uh, um, Reading through wall of texts, just a small engine tells you, yeah, what. And, and I, I see the potential because even as humans, we learn better by looking at pictures or having a humanoid face telling us yeah. what are the tasks or important information. Yeah. There is a psychological reaction toward that. Yeah. So I see, I see this for for some set of tasks. That we we uh, it is easy, easy, easy to guess where we can already leverage all yeah. this. Uh, for example, chatbots with a more human interface and even more ways of expressing, yeah. like with pictures, with pictures. <laughs> it's not only pictures. Uh, a few days before, uh, I think it was Google. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, the, an engine was published on a neural network. We just uh, give some. Keywords like uh, a hammer, yeah, mm -hmm. and then it creates a small video snippet. Even where better. It shows, uh, a moving hammer or something like that. Yeah, so hammer action. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean. So it's crazy what's going on currently. Yes. It's so quick. Yes. I think at this point, the time we will have between this kind of milestones are, is going to be reduced. So yeah. the fact that we learn about them. And we start imagining the potential drawbacks of the technology because there is no technolo technology that doesn't have a drawback or an impact that may be used in a negative way. So we, s we s have to start asking these questions and, and actually start thinking like, not because we are able to do it, we should be doing it. Mm -hmm. So where is the limit? Are we talking about the limits? Are we talking about education? Are we talking about how how the general public is going to receive it. Yes. So, I'm super excited about the future and I'm super help, like, like grateful that we have people that are trying and pushing for the limits and asking these questions. 
So you tell me what 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 are you excited about in the future? Any any other project that you're working on? There are a lot of uh, projects going on and uh, innovation hacking teams. So we are so full of our ideas. We have so many ideas. <laughs> and uh, besides the real time deepfakes, we worked on, uh, um, for example, a shit posting AI. So when we publish our real time deepfakes, uh -huh. it was. Um, media coverage in, in Germany, so we appeared in the television, German television, in the news and everything, uh, also printed news, and um, saying this, there was a reaction, uh, there were, was some kind of reaction, and from time to time you will read something like a so-called shit post, yeah, someone uh -huh. says, ah. Uh -huh. I'm deepfakes, they, they look not good. Yeah, 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 yeah. They totally look artificial or something, so, uh, something like that. And uh, typically our reaction would be uh -huh. answering the shit post. And we thought, hey, we can automate that as well. <laughs> so we took GPT-2, yeah, uh, which is uh, yeah, the, previous the, one. the previous one uh, of GPT-3. And the good, the good news is GPT-2, you can use that locally. That uh -huh, uh -huh. To have an internet connection or something like that, yeah. And so we trained GPT-2 just to create shit posts. <laughs> so we took um, uh, two forums, so uh, it was Reddit and uh, uh, Twitter. Uh -huh. And then we searched for topics like, uh, like uh, change my view, showering thoughts, um, world politics, and uh, uh, a forum where we thought this is most controversial mechanical keyboards. <laughs> <laughs> so, and we trained the shit posting AI, and then we were able to answer fully automatic uh, uh, those shit posts. Uh, okay. It's awesome because it saves time. Yes. And within the save time, we can learn other cool. Yes, yes. No, no, no. I totally, I, I totally get it. Like, we all had to deal with trolls in our days and our lives. And, and in a way, it's deeply satisfaction. We, we, we see with deep satisfaction that they are otherwise engaged and not with a person. <laughs> the good news is if we replace the trolls with an AI, uh -huh. the trolls also save time and can maybe try to learn <laughs> Yeah, true, true. Oh my god, this, 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 the future looks terrifying and yeah. bright. Yeah, we will see uh, what humankind is uh, making out of it, and uh, it's a lot going on. So, uh, we also had another project, uh, real time style transfer, which is also a, a nice topic in the fields uh, of AI. So, you can just, um, back in the days, it was 2015 16. A person named uh, Gates. Mm -hmm. uh, he invented the style transfer. So you take a picture and you take a, a photograph, for example, and you take a painting. Ah, and yes, the yes. The network uh, is tr uh, um, trained on this painting and it will, will restyle the original photography so that it looks like the painting. And uh, we realized that in real time and in stereoscopic view. So oh. you are able to uh, uh, wear a HTC Vive Pro. Mm -hmm which has two integrated cameras and we, um, we are recording the video stream, the stereoscopic video stream and restyle that with our real time. So like Star walking, Trek. like for example in a Van Gogh painting, yes. like in a Van Gogh yeah. painting Star world. Trek. We actually trained Van Gogh <gasps> or at oh the my God. screen. That, that could yeah. be interesting, and yes. The best thing was when we trained something, maybe you recognize it. Du -du -du -du. No, I'm totally mad with music, so but yeah. Aha, take on me. Aha. Ah, yes. And we took the uh, the pencil drawings out of the music video and we trained our deep neural network for five or six hours on our, our high performance. Uh -huh. PC. And after that, we were able to step into this drawings in stereoscopic view. <gasps> so what actually was shown in the Aha video, in the music video, um, we were able to dive into that in, in the Oh my world. god! Yeah. That, that sounds... Amazing. That's amazing. It's, you know, it's like uh, being on a trip without taking drugs. Yes, exactly, exactly. It's looking at... No, 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 but... No, no, no! <laughs> well, that 
it's a killer. No, okay, no. <laughs> but coming back to the topic, <laughs> let's just talk about the benefits of us skipping things or adding more things. <laughs> No, but the, the whole alter, uh, alternative or uh, alter experience sounds fantastic. And experiencing the world like with music, with paintings, with video yeah. sounds incredible. Yeah, it is. Sounds amazing. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I'm actually enjoying a lot your, your team of like, yeah. oh my God, it sounds fantastic. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, the, the, the presentation is named uh, uh, the PowerPoint Ghostwriter AI. <laughs> okay. And uh, there we tell uh, the technical details how okay. everything was implemented and trained and uh, how GPT actually works inside mm -hmm. under the hood. Yeah. Sounds. Which is, by the way, extremely interesting. Yes. yes. Sounds interesting and at least a very relevant topic yeah. nowadays. Well, probably we will be at the J Focus next year with this talk. We'll see. I hope so. I hope so because that sounds super interesting, and we don't even know what's going to happen one year from now. Yeah, like, that's, that's how many milestones we're going to have in that amount of time? Yeah, Google just published their BART system. Yes. Ago. So. As the answer to ChatGPT. Yes. So. And, uh, who was it? Um, a, a Chinese company. I forgot the name. Mm -hmm. Baidu or something like that. Yeah, yeah, probably they Baidu. To publish, uh, they are JetGBT alike AI as well? It's because everybody's running. It's running. Free. Right now, they are like investing it's an amount of more. money. Yes. And, and they are, they, in a way, they are very, very uh, true because we still call every single face tissue Kleenex. So the first one of getting there and being for the white masses used and loved yeah. or hated <laughs> will win that war. Or that run. Yeah. Well, Martin, it was a pleasure having you, and I super enjoyed the presentation that you created in this right moment. And the session will be published, so for sure, look for it. Thank you very much, Martin. It was amazing. Thank you.